Hey, Facebook friends, it is um, good to see you live this afternoon uh, after a short time of travel and being away and uh, putting up some pre-recorded uh, afternoon videos. It's good to be back live on this Monday afternoon. Uh, and uh, I want to tell you something new uh, that, uh, that I have, uh, that, that's, that's going on. One, one new thing, one new thing is that, uh, is that I'll be live now, instead of on my personal Facebook page, uh, I'll be live on the Isle of Hope United Methodist Church uh, Facebook page. So uh, kind of making a, a transition over to, uh, to the, the Isle of Hope page um, instead of my personal page, that'll give us uh, a, a greater reach, we think, and a greater connection to, uh, to our online community uh, and to our in-person community here, uh, here in uh, at Isle of Hope in Savannah. Uh, so that's one new change. The other change is uh, I have a new cell phone. Uh, I have a new cell phone. I, I finally, after a decade of having a smart smartphone of some sort in my pocket, um, I finally moved. I made a big switch. I moved from uh, I moved from Android world uh, with a Google Pixel that I loved. I moved from 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 uh, from Android world into iPhone world. Uh, and I know for a lot of folks that iPhone Android thing, it's a, it's about being in or being out, right? Uh, Cause there's so much inside the uh, Apple ecosystem. Uh, but I'll tell you why I made that decision. I, I made it for a personal reason uh, because I've got a daughter who graduated from high school a few weeks ago and went off to, is getting ready in August to go off to college. And she was gone several weeks ago on a trip and she FaceTimed her mom. She FaceTimed her mom. I, I suddenly realized that after, you know, in just a few weeks in the future uh, from college, she would be FaceTiming her mom and never me if I didn't have uh, the iPhone, if I wasn't inside the, uh, the iPhone uh, family, the iPhone community. You know, uh, it, it's funny to laugh about being in or out of, uh, of the iPhone world, but uh, it's a different thing entirely uh, when it comes to being in and out of God's will or in and out of God's kingdom. Uh, and uh, I, I'll tell you this, there'll be a lot of folks in life uh, who try to figure that out for you. Uh, and, and there'll be, you know, lines and, and, and there'll be reasons and rationales and check boxes and click boxes. Uh, some folks seem to have it all figured out as to who is in and who is out. I, I, I'll tell you, Jesus stepped into the world as a, a gift from God the Father. Uh, Jesus stepped into the world as uh, as the Son of God, uh, and he self-identifies in, in John's God. I am uh, the good shepherd. Uh, and, and one of the reasons he says, I am the good shepherd, is, is he is the one who is able, uh, who is able to decide uh, who is in and who is out. And Jesus steps into that controversy uh, of, uh, of us humans trying to decide you know, who's in and who's out. Jesus steps in and says, I am the good shepherd. There's an implication that there are bad shepherds out there. Uh, Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. Uh, and let's um, come back together this week uh, at five o'clock and we'll talk more about what Jesus says about the good shepherd uh, and how we can know he is our good shepherd. Uh, and that with him, with him, we're always in. Let's pause there and pray together. Uh, thank you, God, for sending us Jesus as the good shepherd. Thank you that he uh, waded into uh, his world's controversy and that he even wades into our world's controversy uh, to remind us that he is the good shepherd, that unique guarantor uh, of how we can be in with God, in with the kingdom, in with his work uh, in the world today. Uh, we offer him praise, praise to the good shepherd of our souls in his name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey friends, thanks for checking in on Monday afternoon. See you again soon.